Hello my dears, uh, very uh, good morning to all. So in the last class we discussed about the uh, star and delta connection. We discussed about the three phase system, right? Three phase system. How can we connect the three phase terminals either in star or in delta or we derived the equation for uh, line voltage, phase voltage, line current and phase current also. Okay. And the key points you should note in star and delta is that in star connection the current is same that is the line current will be same as the phase current that is star connection the current is same in order to remember this you can have an, a, a, a remember technique like SI SI you, you heard the term like SI SI system you heard the term right so in star I will be same so SI star I will be same opposite will be the in the in the case of delta so in the delta connection what we have learned in delta connection uh, phase voltage and line voltages are same but current are different the difference is nothing but il that is nothing but the line current will be root to three times the phase current i think you all know this okay so let's do uh, some problem regarding this concept and uh, will uh, assure that the concept is uh, very clear to us okay so write a problem write a problem in a star connection in a star connection In a star connection, if load power angle is 60, sixty degree lag lag comma, find the angle between line voltage and phase current. Angle between line voltage and phase current phase current so this is the question this is the question so of course it is understood that is a balanced three phase system okay in a uh, star connection so balanced three phase system so in a star connection if a uh, load power is angle is 60 degree lag then find the angle between line voltage and phase current okay we have to find the angle between line voltage and phase current let's see so we have learned we have learned that in a star connection or either in delta connection anything so the r and vy and vv will be like this and it should have a phase angle of 120 and here also it is 120 we learned this right here also it is 120 right here also it is 120 degree that is the balance of the three phase supply and it is given that if the load power angle is 60 degree lag means if 60 degree lag means load makes the six make the system 60 degree lag that means the current is lagging behind the voltage by 60 degree the current is lagging behind the voltage by 60 degree and the current is lagging behind the voltage by 60 degree. So this is the concept. See, IR is lagging behind VR by 60 degree, IY is lagging behind VY by 60 degree and IB is lagging behind VB by 60 degree. That is the meaning of what the power angle 60 lag means. Power angle is nothing, load power angle is nothing but simply load angle, load angle. So it is lagging or it makes the system to current to be lag behind the voltage corresponding phase voltages by 60 degree okay so we have to find the angle between line voltage right line voltage this vr vy vb all are what line or phase voltage it is phase voltage right symbol means single one term means it's a phase voltage right vr vy vb all are phase voltages we have to know the line voltage right so line voltage and the phase current right so let me take suppose I am extending this V by as like this and it is minus V by say minus V by up to this it is enough okay so it is what minus V by right minus V by and the resultant will be definitely like this right definitely will be right that is V R Y which is nothing but V R minus V by am I correct or wrong correct so what will be this angle beta this, this see this vr and this vb and va across 120 right 
So if a line is parting mid midpoint between this VR and VB means this will be 60 of course right. This will be what 60 right and the remaining also will be 60 then only it will be total 120. So we have to find and what is this angle beta? This angle this is nothing but 30 degree correct divided by this resultant with VR is 30 degree right. So find the angle between line voltage line voltage is nothing but VR by right. So we can write line voltage is nothing but line voltage is nothing but beta line voltage is V R Y right. So we have to find line voltage and phase current what is phase current here phase current is nothing but what phase current is what is that I R right phase current is nothing but I R. So what is the angle between so we have to find that is the angle between the angle between V R Y and I R equal to what is the angle between V R Y and I R see this is V R Y right V R Y and I R from V R Y to V R V R Y to V R it is 30 degree from this V R to I R it is 60 degree right so the total angle will be what 19 but 90 degree 90 degree lag because the current is lagging behind the phase voltage right so 90 degree lag so that is the answer that is the answer is it clear is it clear so you 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 should know the concept and you should know the terms what is line voltage line current phase voltage phase current etc so only by doing certain problems your idea will be firm your idea will be what a concrete and that is why I am doing all these problems okay clear so that is the answer right that is the answer and let's see one more problem let's see one more problem I think it's clear no it's clear right? let's see one more problem okay write one more problem in a star connection in a star connection comma if unity power factor load is connected If unity power factor load is connected, then find find one angle between line voltage and line current. Two. Angle between line voltage and phase current. Line voltage and phase current. 3. Angle between phase voltage and line current. angle between phase voltage and line current okay so the question is clear right so in a star connection if unity power factor load is connected right unity power factor load is connected then find something okay so let's uh, focus on the question unity power factor load is connected means means cos phi equal to what unity power factor means cos phi equal to 1 which implies phi is equal to what 0 degree very very important okay that means that means unity power factor load load is nothing but the current right load is nothing but the current right the absorbing element is called the load the absorbing parameter is nothing but the current so load is nothing but simply the current one. the power factor is unity means suppose you have suppose you have a balanced 
three phase system like this let be vr let be vy and let be vb please always better always uh, focus on this diagram because this diagram tells a lot to us tells a lot to us because it means you no know, if you know this diagram clearly any question regarding line voltage line current phase voltage phase current right, you can solve this easily so power factor load is unity power factor means that the phase angle is zero right phase angle is zero means this is the position of ir and this is the position of iy and this is the position of iv that is the meaning of phase angle unity that means phase angle zero or unity power factor load is connected then find angle between line voltage and line current right line voltage and line it is a star connected system now so i can again extrapolate this graph like see i can move this vy as correctly you can move okay correctly you can move correctly you can move so this is nothing but minus vy right minus vy and the resultant is nothing but beta this will be the result correct or wrong this will be the result that is nothing but v r y correct and this is 60 degree right total 120 means this is 60 and this so total also 60 right and this is nothing but 30 right correct so these things you have to know and we have to find what is angle between line voltage and line current see line voltage is nothing but beta this is v r y is the line voltage correct or wrong v r y is the line voltage so the answers will be what first question line voltage is nothing but beta line voltage is nothing but v r y correct or wrong line voltage is nothing but v r y right and line current is nothing but i r line current is nothing but i r because in a star current system line current and phase current all are same in a star current both line current and phase current are same right so there is no need to find another currents because already line current and phase current same this ir is a line current so the angle between we have to find v r y and i r symbol so angle will be equal to angle between v r y and i r will be equal to what beta 30 degree correct or wrong correct or wrong the angle between v r y and i r will be nothing but 30 degree so that is the answer for question number 1 let's move to question number 2 what is that what is that angle between line voltage and phase current line voltage and phase current right angle between line voltage and phase current so in a star connected system line voltage is nothing but again that same value right line voltage is nothing but v r y phase current phase current is nothing but what line current because it's star connected which is nothing but i yeah. r correct or wrong phase current is nothing but better line current line current and phase current are same in star connected system so phase current equal to line current equal to what i r yeah. so again the angle between v r y and i r will be equal to what 30 degree 30 degree clear clear that is the answer for second question let's move to third question let's move to third question what is that angle between phase voltage and line current angle between phase voltage and line current what is the phase voltage here what is the phase voltage here beta phase voltage is nothing but vr vy vb all are phase voltages any two means anything which is sub, uh, what this uh, subscripted to when two terms mean v r y v y b v r b all are line line quantities right single term means it's a phase quantity that's that's the trick to find okay so phase voltage is nothing but beta which is simply v r right v r and we have to find the phase voltage and line current right line current is nothing but what phase current because it's a star connected system no which is nothing but i r line current equal to phase current equal to i r correct or wrong correct or wrong so the angle between vr and ir will be what 
What is the angle between VR and IR? It's nothing but zero degree. So this is how you have to solve the question. First thing you have to draw the diagram, phase diagram for star or delta anything. Okay. For star and delta, this phase diagram is same, right? Same. Phase diagram is same. There is no change in that. But taking values will be different for star and delta. Okay. So that's all about the question. That's all about the question. And you have to note one more thing. So that's all about that question. I think it's clear to you. You have to note a thing, note, note. It's very important actually. That means in a star connection, but in a star connection, you know this is the what star connection, right? So this is the star connection, right? If one face is broke, this is broken, this is broken, this is broken. Not that one face is broken, right? So this is broken. That means one phase is not there. Then the remaining two phases will supply the load, right? You can connect load by from this point, this point, any point you can supply. So the remaining phase like this load will work efficiently, right? This load will work efficiency, efficiently, right? But the power supplied by the remaining star connection, that means if one phase is broken in a star connection, the power supplied by remaining two phases will be the power supplied by power supplied by remaining two phases if one phase broken is is there is a percentage, it is nothing but one first by 50 percentage and another one is 73.5 percentage. 50 and 73.1 percent in star connection, in star connection. So, this is, I will explain. So, if one phase is broken in a star connection, in a balanced star connection, then definitely the remaining two phases right two phases will supply or will deliver some power right to the load right it will meet the load demand because two phases are there one phase is only broken but the power will will not be 100 percentage the power will not be 100 percentage that means the power can deliver by this will be 50 percentage and the power delivered by this phase will be 73.5 percentage that is the meaning of that right okay power supplied by remaining two phases if one phase broken is 50 percentage and 73.1 percentage okay and in delta connection similar manner in delta connection delta you know this delta you know this this is delta right this is delta right similarly if one phase is broken in delta connection this you can write like this and, and only it will be clear right one phase is broken like this one phase is broken here and the remaining two phases no the remaining two line no these will these can supply a power of exactly 57 percent that i will write again here also for this is for this and this is i will write here the power the power supplied by remaining two phases two phases if one phase broken one phase is broken is 57 percentage it's very very important very very important 
is very very actually in a one word question you may expect like this 50 and 73.5 uh, and 57 these three terms you have to remember 50 73.5 and 57 50 73.5 and 57 okay and you may have a doubt that you may have a doubt why here it is only one percentage these are there are two percentage right because even though it is broken two phases are alive these can supply a certain voltage with respect to neutral or with the load these can also be supply load with respect to load or neutral see across this you can supply a load or in between neutral also you can supply a load right in between one phase and neutral you can supply a load in between one phase and neutral also you can supply a load that is the meaning okay that they, then then it will be more clear okay so rather than this you can make like this okay in a star connection now in a star connection now so this is nothing but neutral right this is nothing neutral light so it between this and this you can supply a load or between these and this also you can supply a load right so that load value or the power delivered by that uh, star connection remaining two phases to the load will be 50 and 73.5 here it is only one percentage because if it is broken means if this line is not there mean the voltage available will you see this is the only phase will be available here this is the only phase you can available here right that is why only one percentage will be there so 50 73.5 and 57 you have to remain these three terms clear so it is a note actually so you should uh, take it as a note not right write a note and you take this okay actually it is obtained by so many what big big derivation you will get a, this value but that derivation, derivation is not need for us our need is only these values right our need is only these values okay 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 next we have to see powers in three phase system powers in three phase system actually there are three types of power in any system right Powers are of three types, active power, reactive power and apparent power. In power's three phase system also, three types of power are there. First one is active power. Active power, which is represented by P. The equation for active power is nothing but, in a three phase system, it is nothing but 3 into V phase into I phase into cos bit cosine of the angle between that b phase and i phase that is something but cos phi 3 into v phase into i phase into cos phi what so that is the active power equation that is the active power equation and we know that and we know that suppose we take in a star connection star connection in star connection we have this equation will be arranged like in star connection line this is in terms of phase quantities right this is in terms of phase quantity like right let's see what will be this the equation in terms of line quantities okay so in a star connection phase current and line current almost equal i almost say it is equal right but phase voltages and line voltage are not equal but we have line voltage is equal to root to 3 times phase voltage or phase voltage will be vl by root to 3 correct or wrong correct or wrong okay that will be this v phase can be converted like vl by root to 3 correct or wrong correct vl by root to 3 right line voltage root to 3 phase so that uh, v phase uh, will be vl by root to 3 correct v phase equal to vl by root to 3 so vl by root to 3 into in a star connection i phase and il are both the same right in a star connection i phase and il are same into cos phi correct this 3 with root to 3 will define like i mean card cancel it will remain only root to 3 right this 3 can be right like root to 3 into root to 3 no this root to 3 and 1 root to 3 cancel so remaining will be only root to 3 right so it will be root to 3 into 
VLIL cos phi watt. So this is also an equation for what uh, active power. But in delta connection, see in delta connection, what whether it is a di uh, different or not. Okay, in delta connection also we have P is equal to what? Again, three into in a delta connection line car voltage and phase voltages are same, right? So we can write in terms of line as VL equal to V phase or so V phase and VL are same. But in delta, I phase and I L will be connected like V phase and V L in the same manner. So it will become I phase is nothing but beta I L by root 3. Character one. I L by root 3. Into cos phi. Into cos phi. Which is nothing but again this root 3 can be right like 3 and root 3 get cancelled. The remaining will be only root 3. So P will be root 3 into V L I L cos phi. So you have to note one thing that whether in star connection or in delta connection the line I mean the power in terms of line quantities are same whether in star connection or delta connection root 3 into VL IL cos phi will be the active power equation whether it in star and or whether it in delta then only that transformation is possible right if power is changing from one transform to another transform then we can't use in a transmission line because the power is same. Power, power should be same. Even though in a transformer, no. Transformer means transfer of power. There is no change in the power in transformer. Input power is same as the output power. It's like that, if there is change in power in any of these what, uh, three phase uh, transformation, star to delta or delta to star, then it is meaningless because the power is changing there. We don't want to change the power. We need a constant power. That means not constant power, we need the power which is supplied by the system to the end of the consumer, up to the end of the consumer. We don't want to change the power, right? So that is why this power in terms of line quantity is same for star as well as delta. Phase is also same, though. no need to mention now, P is equal to 3 phase into V phase into cos phi. 3 into V phase into cos uh, I phase into cos phi. So there are two equations for power actually. One in terms of phase quantities, that is nothing but what is that 3 into V phase into I phase into cos phi or root 3 into VL IL cos phi both having unit of watts clear next power is nothing but reactive power it is nothing but Q reactive power is nothing but Q is equal to similarly 3 into V phase into I phase into sin phi VAR that is the whole time we are reactive this is nothing but in watt, this is nothing but in watts, and this is only in watt. And this is nothing but in volt ampere reactive. <coughs> if you convert this into line quantities either in star or in delta, we have Q is equal to root 3 into VL IL sin phi. V A R. Say. So that is the equation for reactive power. And another power is called the apparent power apparent power you all you all know this right represent by a letter s and apparent power s is nothing but beta 3 into simply v phase into i phase that is not what sign term or cosine term it is simply volt ampere unit is what volt ampere in uh, reactive power is volt ampere reactive but in apparent power simply volt ampere is the unit or in terms of line quantities we have root 3 into simply v n i n volt ampere so this is the equation for active apparent and reactive powers in a what uh, three phase system is it clear is it clear <coughs> is there any doubt so you have to note here one thing that either as in tar or either in delta the power will be same there there is no change in power right Either in active power or in reactive power or in apparent power, there is no change there. Either in uh, what star or delta, it will be same. Clear? Clear? Is there any doubt? Okay. <coughs> okay. Next, we have to see complex power complex power next we have to see complex power complex power complex power is represented like let me s will be the apparent complex power 
and s is s is nothing but p plus j q that means the power can be represented in terms of p plus j q manner or a plus j b manner right so s will be equal to p plus j q where p is nothing but the active power and q is nothing but the reactive power and plus j for if load is lag and minus j for if load is lead this you have to note this thing you have to note if plus j is for lagging load and minus j is for leading load that means if s is equal to in the form of p plus j q of course this the nature of the load will be lagging in nature if the term will be if the power is in the form of s is equal to p minus j q then uh, the nature of the load will be leading in manner leading in manner that is the only thing we have to know okay and <clears throat> there is another equation for power that complex power is nothing but complex power s is equal to v into i conjugate v into i conjugate this is very very important relation there is another equation for power in complex terms right in complex term you can simply the uh, apparent power s is equal to simply voltage v phase into i phase now but if you have to find the complex apparent power there is that means if the current is in the is current is in the form of complex quantity i will explain take an example okay i will explain with an example suppose v is equal to you have v is equal to 300 plus j 400 volt in the form like this okay and i you have in the question i you have it will be 40 plus j 30 okay you have to find apparent power from this two then the, how can we write it is simply v into i conjugate will be the complex apparent power if you want to find the complex apparent power you simply multiply v into i conjugate plus okay and this is nothing but what 300 plus j into 400 into into i conjugate this is i i conjugate means simply change the value of imaginary that is i mean change the sign of imaginary if i is this 40 plus j 30 i conjugate means simply change the sign of imaginary term suppose this is 40 minus j 30 then it will be 40 plus j 30 bas kadam kali is it clear is it clear so that is the meaning of what apparent complex power apparent complex power okay is it clear so that is the concept of active and apparent uh, reactive power okay okay so write a question write a question then it will be more and more clear okay write a question if v is equal to 200 angle 30 and i is equal to 5 angle minus 60 degree find real and reactive power real and reactive power okay how can we solve such a question how can we solve such a question see it is given that v is equal to 20 angle 200 angle 30 and i is equal to 5 angle 60 both in complex term right both in complex term v is in complex term i is in complex term if you have simply v is equal to 200 and i equal to 5 means there is no need to use the equation v into i conjugate there is no need to you can simply multiply v and i because we simply need real terms right real terms if v is equal to simply 200 and i is equal to simply 5 means you no need to write this v into i i conjugate you simply multiply v and i you will get the apparent power plus but if you have a voltage like this this is a complex term right 200 angle 30 means 200 into cos 30 plus j sin 30 so there is a complex term 5 angle minus 60 means 5 into cos 60 ma plus j into sin 60 correct okay minus j into sin 60 so that also contain a complex term so if both voltage and current contains complex terms then the real and reactive power can be obtained only by using this equation s is equal to v into i so let's see that s is equal to v into i conjugate will be the apparent power if the if if 
you know you got the idea right if you have only 205 you can simply multiply but you have 200 angle something and i also something or some magnitude angle something then you have to go for what complex power that is nothing but s and v into i conjugate which is nothing but better it is uh, 200 angle 30 into 5 angle 60 conjugate of 5 angle minus 60 is nothing but 5 angle 60 simply sign change the angle i mean change the sign of the angle will give the com i mean uh, conjugate in terms of a plus the jb format what you have to simply uh, change the sign of the imaginary term but in the terms of r angle theta form in terms of r angle theta form if you have to find the conjugate of that r angle theta you simply take r angle minus theta that that's all that will be the conjugate okay so this will be the conjugate this will be the conjugate so it will become how can you write like this how can you write it is nothing but better so listen thousand angle see if two terms are in r angle theta form and it is multiplied together it is multiplied together then the resultant term will be the multiplication of the magnitude and the addition of angles the addition of angles so 30 plus 60 is nothing but 90 so 30 plus 60 is nothing but better 90 degrees. so this is the complex power we have to take what our aim is to find a real and reactive power now from this real and reactive power knowing is very difficult so you have to convert this into another term which is nothing but this thousand angle 90 is equal to i can write like this which is nothing but thousand plus sorry thousand into cos 90 plus j into sin 90 character wrong beta character wrong cos 90 plus j into sin 90 this thousand angle 90 or r angle theta this is the general representation like you know r angle theta is nothing but r into cos theta plus j into sin theta i already told you this i already told you, you know the same is applied here also the same is applied here also thousand angle 90 means thousand into cos 90 plus j sin 90 bus bus okay so this will be equal to what this will be equal to nothing but thousand into what is cos 90 it is nothing but zero plus thousand what is sin 90 into 1 j into 1 so the resultant will be zero plus j into thousand this is nothing but s so you have s is equal to zero plus j4 or we can say that this is nothing but p and this is nothing but q or simply we have p is equal to 0 watt and q is equal to 1000 volt ampere reactive this is the answer this is the answer focus on the answers if you have any doubt you can comment you can ask if you have any doubt please i request all of you Please mention in the comment section. I will repeat it thousand times. I am ready to repeat a concept. Okay, no issues there. But the thing you should what clearly know the concept. You should clearly know the concept. That's my aim. Is there any doubt? Please tell me. So complex power. I will what stay once again. Complex power is nothing but if voltage and current are given in complex terms, then ordinary multiplication will not uh, use there. Will not use there. So we have to use the term complex power. That complex power is nothing but S is equal to V into I conjugate. V into I conjugate. I conjugate can be for A plus G, JB format, it will be A minus JB. For R angle theta, the conjugate will be R angle minus theta bus kadam kali. That's all. That's all. <coughs> is it clear? Is it clear? Is there any doubt? Can we move to other problem? Okay. Next, we have to see another concept. Watt meters. Not only watt meter. Watt meter.
watt meter. So what is a watt meter? What is a watt meter? Either in three phase or in single phase, what is a watt meter? What is its purpose? Watt meter is a device which is used to find the which is used to find the power, right? Power. Which is used to find the power. Power means it is it is it will give the value of average power. Average power in a cycle. So uh, watt meter always give the power which is nothing but the average power, right? The average power watt meter will give. So there are this is a symbol of watt meter. So this is the symbol and connection of a watt meter. That means the watt meter having two coils, two coils. One is called the current coil or CC. Another one called the pressure coil or PC. The current coil is always having, current coil is always having low resistance. Because it is connected in series with the circuits now. If it having very high resistance means what happened? It will not allow any current to the load, right? The load doesn't get any current, right? That is why the current coil always having, always having low resistance, low resistance. And the voltage coil or pressure coil always having high resistance. High resistance because the voltage coil function like a voltmeter function like a voltmeter that is in order to measure the potential difference between two lines two lines the volt i mean the voltage coil or pressure coil is used here so that is why its resistance will be very high its resistance will be very high and this resistance will be low resistance and high inductance okay and high inductance you can say this is high resistance and low inductance that also you can say reverse will be there inductance and resistance are reverse quantity i mean opposite quantities in here it is low resistance or high inductance here it is high resistance or low inductance okay and this il is nothing but the load so across which we have to measure the power that is called the load okay this this is across which we have to measure the power so the current coil is directly connected in series with the load current coil is directly connected in series with the load and the pressure coil is connected across the load right these two terminal will be across the load now these two terminal will be across the load now so the pressure coil is always connected across the load and the current coil is connected in series with the load that you have to remain all the time that you have to remain all the time another diagram see suppose another diagram is like this suppose it is 4 ohm this is 8 ohm. Suppose this is the connection of watt meter. This is the connection of the watt meter. And I applied a voltage across this. See, I am seeing I, I applied a voltage across this. So this watt meter will measure a power across this is current coil and this is pressure coil. So this watt meter will measure a power across 4 ohm or 8 ohm. What's your answer? What's your answer? This wattmeter will measure a power across 4 ohm or 8 ohm. This is my cost. This is my cost. What's your answer? What is if suppose this is the connection? This wattmeter will measure a power across 4 ohm or 8 ohm. That's my cost. The answer is beta. It will measure a power across 4 ohm only. It will measure a power across 4 ohm only. Because this 4 ohm and 8 ohm are series, of course same current will be flowing in the current coil right for this 4 ohm whether it is 8 ohm whether it is 12 ohm any ohm right for same amount of current is flowing here because it is seriously connected now so no need to think that section that means current coil section no need to think of all but 
voltage coil session C, voltage coil is connected across one line at C across this four ohm. That means this voltage coil or pressure coil will measure a potential difference between this four ohm only. This four ohm only. This pressure coil will measure a voltage between or voltage across this four ohm only. So power is nothing but current through this four ohm into voltage across this four ohm that will give the power power is nothing but current through this four ohm into potential difference across this four ohm that will give you the power so that power will be simply the power across that four ohm the power across that so this wattmeter will read the power across this four ohm so you can write this wattmeter will read power across 4 ohm. This wattmeter will read power across 4 ohm. The power across 4 ohm. This wattmeter will read power across 4 ohm. Clear? It's very interesting. Okay. Let's check the time now. Okay, time is there. Is it clear better? Is it clear to you better? Okay. So that is the concept of wattmeter. So wattmeter is a device simply used to mention the average power, right? Mention the average power. Okay. Mm. Bus. And it having two coils, current coil and pressure coil. Current coil is always connected in series with the load. Pressure coil is always connected in parallel with the load. Parallel with the load. Because power is nothing but voltage into current, no? Power is nothing but voltage into current, no? That's it. Next, we have to see power measurement of a three phase system using two watt meters. Very, very important. Very, very important. Power measurement use of a three phase system using two watt meters. Two watt meters. See, for the simplicity, I am taking a star connection. Okay, I am taking a star connection. Star or delta, no, no issues there. Star or delta, you can use. With simplicity, I am using star connection. This is R and this is Y and this is B phase. So that this will be VY. Okay. Oh. It's a balance star now. So it's a set angle phi. Set angle phi. Angle phi. Set angle phi. And this is the connection. So you can use this M L C V here, and I can use this M L C V here. I will write what is this M L C V. Okay, first you can write this. Without note this. What is this MLCV stands for? Okay. What is this MLCV stands for? This M is nothing but better main. And L is nothing but better load. 
C is nothing for common and V is nothing but voltage. Yes. Yes. That means this line is connected to the main point. No, main line is connected. No, main. M and C is always short circuited. You know, whenever you are doing experiment in your laboratory, electrical laboratory, you always short M and C. No, that is the reason. Then only it will be connected, right? Then only it will be connected, right? That is why M and C should short. And M is nothing but main line load because across this you have to connect load, na. Across this you have to connect load, right? That is why this L stands for the load. And uh, C is nothing but common point, right? Common. And this is nothing but V is nothing but voltage, right? Nothing but voltage. So this is a uh, uh, this is IR beta. This is IR. Hey boy. Okay. Okay. Please note down this diagram. Please note down this diagram. Please note down this diagram. <coughs> Please note down this diagram. Okay, did you notice? Did you uh, draw it? Did you draw it? Okay. See, this is a balanced system now. Z angle phi, Z angle phi, Z angle phi. There is no change in that because all are same, right? And two watt meters are here now. Two watt meters are here. One watt meter is connected across R and B. Another is connected across Y and B. Yes. That means this B is common for this watt meter 1 and watt meter 2. I mean voltage coil is common for this watt meter 1 and watt meter 2 this B line. Okay. Anything you, anyway no this is one method I mean one way you can connect like this no and take another watt meter there is this watt meter you can connect here and take the common point as Y for both this watt meter 1 and this watt meter 2. You can uh, use that that way also. Okay. Anyway. So what will be the phasor diagram? The phasor diagram will be see the phasor diagram will be better. Balance the system right. So this will be Vr. This will be Vy. This will be Vb. Since the load need not be all the time it is resistive right. It is Z angle phi, no? It is a it is a inductive load. Say it is an inductive load for the simplicity, no? For the simplicity of derivation, we are taking it is a inductive. It is an inductive load. So the load will be always lag with respect to voltage by an angle phi. 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 Because the load always lag the voltage with respect to some angle that is because it is a uh, inductive load you know so there will be the IR but it is lagging behind the VR by phi there will be IY which is lagging behind the voltage by phi that is IB which is lagging behind the voltage by phi bus. Mm. bus. So in this diagram see the total power is nothing but the total power is nothing but W1 plus W2. W1 plus W2. And what, what are the values of W1 and W2? Let's check that first. Let's see what is W1. What is W1? W1. W1 is nothing but we connected the current directly in R phase, right? The current coil directly in R phase. But the pressure coil is connected across R and B now. R and B. That means we have to know the value of I can write like this I can write like this W1 will be equal to VRB into IR cos phi correct or wrong beta correct or wrong W1 will be equal to W1 will be equal to the current across it that is nothing but IR the voltage across the watt meter that is nothing but this CV is connected across what I mean which phases one is R and another is B, right? Another is B, right? 
So I can write that V R B is the potential difference across this pressure coil, and I R is the current which is directly flowing through the current coil. So V R B into I R cos pi will be the what that much watts will be the what that much watts will be the active power that is W one. And one more thing, but that power uh, watt meter always measures the average power, and that is the actual active power. The watt meter always measure the active power, not the reactive power. Okay, directly you can measure the watt meter. That is nothing but the active power, not the reactive power. That also you have to note. So W one will equal to V R B into I R cos pi. Okay, and what will be W two? What will be W two? W two is collected across. I can write like. V Y B, correct or wrong? V Y B, right? The pressure coil is connected across Y and B. So V by into I Y, right? I Y cos pi watt, cos pi watts. So now you have W one and W two, okay? Now you have W one and W two, right? So <coughs> total power will be, total power will be, okay? I have to remove this, then only. I can continue. I I hope you already draw this right. I I hope you already draw this. So we we need that. Okay. So that is why. So I can write like. I can write like total power. P will be equal to okay. Better P will be equal to. W1 plus W2 in terms of active power, right? So that W1 plus W2 will be equal to W1 plus W2 will be equal to. I can write like VRB VRB into IR, beta into IR cos phi plus VYB into IY cos phi. Now our work is to find what is VRB, what is IR, what is cos phi. That is our aim. Okay, this phi is nothing but the angle between VRB and IR. No, this phi is nothing but the angle between VY and IY. No, let's find what it is. Let's find what it is. Okay, see. So you have to find the angle between. First, you have to find the angle between VRB, that is R and VRB and IR. No. This phi is stands for beta. This phi is stands for the angle between V R B and I R, right? So we have V R. We need V P also. Then only, then only it will be. Then only it will be V R B. That means the resultant will be beta. This way. This is the resultant, right? This is the resultant. And you know this. This is of course 60 degree, right? This is of course 60 degree, right? This is of course 60 degree, no? Correct or wrong? Correct or wrong? Because between R and B, R and Y it is 120. So in between this VB it is 60 degree, and this will be what beta? This will be what? 30 degree or correct or 30 degree? 30 degree, right? So. What is the angle between V R B and I R? Only this angle we need. This angle. This angle is nothing but beta. It I can write like 30 minus phi. Correct or wrong, beta? Correct or wrong? 30 minus phi, right? Because the total is 30. This much is phi. Only this much is phi. So we need this angle only. So this small angle will be 30 minus phi. Simple. Clear? Clear? So. This can be right like this can be right like V R B. It is nothing but V R B is line quantity or phase quantity beta. It is line quantity V L. I R is line or phase. It is I R I R no I R V R B is line quantity and I R is suppose it's a star conductor system no it's a star conductor system right? We done for a star conductor system right? So I R and I L will be same no. So this can be right as I L cos. 30 minus 5 actually that means this phi is correct actually 30 minus 5 right this phi is nothing but angle between vrb and ir from the diagram angle between vrb and ir will be 30 minus 5 okay and let's do for next also what will be the next thing vyb is also i can write like vl and iy is also like like il 
and cosine of the angle between what is the angle between v y b and i y v y b and i y beta v y b v y b so v y b means v y minus v b no v y minus v b no that means nothing but this no v y b means this will be the resultant this will be the resultant suppose this will be the resultant v y b this will be v y b this will be the resultant right v y b will be the resultant right so this minus v b and v by there is of course an angle this will be total angle will be what 60 degree right 60 degree and this angle will be what beta this angle will be what up to this angle will be what 30 degree correct then what is the angle between v y b and i y i y is what here right that means this also what 30 degree right this also what 30 degree right so the angle between v y b and i y is nothing but the total angle right this much angle this much angle and that angle will be what beta 30 plus 5 correct or wrong beta this much 30 and from to this to this there is 5 5 now here to here is 5 no so it will be 30 plus 5 right 30 plus 5 so i can write like it will be cos 30 plus 5 right 30 plus 5 so vlil you can take common so it will be equal to So it will become what cos a minus b it is cos a cos b plus sin a sin b plus again cos a plus b is what cos a cos b minus sin a sin b clear this sin 30 sin 5 and this that plus sin 30 sin 5 get cancelled so the remaining will be what vlil into 2 times cos 30 cos 5 so it will become vlil into 2 into what is cos 30 beta it is root 3 by 2 na cos 5 2 and 2 get cancelled it will be root 3 into vlil cos phi that is nothing but w1 plus w2 is it clear that's the time now time now okay time is there so it will be root 3 into vlil cos phi clear then similarly similarly what will be w1 minus w2 w1 minus w2 will be what beta it is nothing but vlil cos of 30 minus 5 minus vlil cos of 30 plus 5 so it will become when i vlil take it common cos of 30 minus 5 minus cos of 30 plus 5 correct so it will become vlil into cos 30 cos 5 sin 30 sin 5 minus minus of cos 30 cos 5 minus sin 30 sin 5 because cos a minus p is nothing but cos a cos p plus sin a sin p okay so it will become this minus goes that side so it will become what what will what will be one step i can reduce now okay i will explain vlil cos 30 cos 5 sin 30 sin 5 minus cos 30 cos 5 plus sin 30 sin correct see what else what what are the terms parameter cancel cos 30 cos 5 cos 30 cos 5 cancel so the remaining will be 
VLIN into 2 sin 30 sin 5. It will become VLIL 2 into sin 30 is nothing but 1 by 2 sin 5. 2 and 2 get cancelled. Simply VLIL sin 5 will be W1 minus W2. W1 minus W2. Okay. So, <coughs> so I think you noted this. You know this. So, what will be? What will be? What will be? What will be? W1 minus W2 divided by W1 plus W2. What will be? W1 minus W2 VL IL sin phi, right? VL IL sin phi whole divided by W1 plus W2 root 3 into L I L cos phi, correct? Root 3 into VL IL cos phi. VL IL VL IL gets cancelled. It will be sin phi phi cos phi is nothing but tan phi by root 3, correct or wrong data? So, which implies tan phi will be equal to tan 5 will be equal to root 3 into w1 minus w2 whole divided by w1 plus w2 or 5 will be equal to tan inverse root 3 into w1 minus w2 whole divided by w1 plus w2 very 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 important relationship in uh, three phase system that is nothing but phi or phase angle will be tan inverse root 3 into w1 minus w2 divided by w1 plus w2. So, this, this is the phase angle relationship. So, phi is nothing but the phase angle. So, phase angle equation is phi is equal to tan inverse root 3 into w1 minus w2 divided by w1 plus w2 bus. Okay, this is the derivation part. So, the next class we will uh, look more on that uh, equation and some certain cases. Okay, so today that is all for today. Let us meet again tomorrow. So, until then, bye. Take care.